Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Saturday, December 12th, 2020. Our prayers today are from a resource called Daily Prayer, Supplemental Liturgical Resource 5, published by the PCUSA and Westminster Press. All this week we've been talking about faith. In the next few moments, I invite you to simply contemplate where you have seen your faith at work this week. Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 126, and all of our readings today are from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. When the Lord changed Zion's circumstances for the better, it was like we had been dreaming. Our mouths were suddenly filled with laughter. Our tongues were filled with joyful shouts. It was even said at that time among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Yes, the Lord has done great things for us, and we are overjoyed. Lord, change our circumstances for the better, like dry streams in the desert waste. Let those who plant with tears reap the harvest with joyful shouts. Let those who go out crying and carrying their seed come home with joyful shouts carrying bales of grain. Let us pray. God Most High, by your word you created a wondrous universe, and through your spirit you breathed into it your breath of life. Accept creation's hymn of praise from our lips, And let the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the heart of all creatures on earth to your glory, now and forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 13 through 19. Listen for God's word. You go out to save your people. For the salvation of your anointed, you smashed the head of the house of wickedness, laying bare the foundation up to the neck. You pierced the head of his warrior with his own spear. His warriors are driven off. Those who take delight in oppressing us, those who take pleasure in secretly devouring the poor. You make your horses tread on the sea, turbulent waters, foam, I hear and my insides tremble. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters my bones. I tremble while I stand, while I wait for that day of distress to come against the people who attack us. Though the fig tree doesn't bloom and there's no produce on the vine, though the olive crop withers and the fields don't provide food, Though the sheep are cut off from the pen and there are no cattle in the stalls, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my deliverance. The Lord God is my strength. He will set my feet like a deer. He will let me walk upon the heights. The prophet says that even though there is absolute terror and destruction about him, he will rejoice. In the midst of our own tribulation, what makes you rejoice today? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, verses 28 through 32. Listen again for God's word. Jesus said, what do you think? 
a man had two sons. Now he came to the first and said, son, go and work in the vineyard today. No, I don't want to, he replied. But later he changed his mind and went. The father said the same thing to the other son who replied, yes, sir, but he didn't go. Which one of these two did the father's will? They said the first one. Jesus said to them, I assure you that tax collectors and prostitutes are entering God's kingdom ahead of you. For John came to you on the righteous road and you didn't believe him. But tax collectors and prostitutes did believe him. Yet even after you saw this, you didn't change your hearts and lives and you didn't believe him. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus reminds us here that we should not just pay lip service to following God, but we need to fulfill our call with our actions. And if we're late to the party, God loves us just the same. God cares more about a change of attitude and repentance. How is your attitude today? Is there anything you need to repent of? Let us pray. Great and wonderful God, you send us in peace, secure in your protecting love. Lead us in the way of service, confident in Christ, who is your redeeming word for us and the whole human family. Amen. Friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance to you and give you peace. I hope you will join us for worship tomorrow on Facebook Live or on Zoom or later in the day here on YouTube. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be well.